In a significant development, the Indian Air Force chief has announced that it is set to increase its presence abroad for strategic interests and will post its officers as additional defense attaches in Armenia, Spain and the Ivory Coast that will help in increasing defense exports. A number of Indian public sector units have also opened offices to support the Armenian military. The air chief also said that the Indian Air Force will also boast a liaison officer in the American Pacific Air Command. After India's Ministry of Defense approved the purchase of 12 Su-30 fighter jets for the Indian Air Force, Russia has said that it is ready to supply 12 Su-30 kits to Hindustan Aeronautics. The 12 Su-30 fighters will include indigenous avionics and communication systems, and it will be integrated with domestically produced weapon systems. The Defense Acquisition Council has also granted acceptance of necessity for the modernization of the Su-30 fleet under Super Shukhoi program, which will upgrade the Su-30 to bring it in line with the capabilities of the Su-35. In order to boost the production of Astra Mark 1 air-to-air missile, the Indian Air Force is exploring to establish a second production line for Astra Mark 1 missile with a private sector company after transfer of technology. Public sector firm Bharat Dynamics Limited has already received orders for 400 Astra Mark 1 missiles for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy, and production is currently underway. But now the Air Force wants the second production line as the projected order for the second batch is expected to surpass 500 units. The US Air Force had awarded a $9 billion contract to Boeing for 351 T-7A Red Hawk trainers and 46 simulators. Boeing is scouting for more partners in India that can become part of the T-7 Red Hawk trainer program. Boeing has already awarded contracts to Indian firms Dynamatic Technologies and Raw Cell Taxis for the T-7A Red Hawk program. The Indian Air Force has sought the development of indigenous airborne multi-constellation global navigation satellite system receiver and converter with anti-jamming and anti-spoofing capabilities that will enhance the performance of airborne platforms including fighter jets, helicopters and transport aircraft, especially during operational missions where navigation and weapon deployment tasks are critical. The Indian Air Force's first C-295 transport aircraft has touched down at Vadodara Air Base in Gujarat, that was flown by a joint crew of Airbus and Indian Air Force, and was escorted by two Su-30 fighter jets during its arrival. The formal induction is scheduled for 25 September at the Hindon Air Base, and the first squadron will be based in Vadodara, due to its proximity to the Tatu Airbus C-295 production facility. Bitmapper Integration Technologies Private Limited has unveiled an automated gun barrel cleaning and inspection robot featuring artificial intelligence and deep learning algorithm that will conduct damage prognosis and health monitoring of barrels of large caliber guns rocket launchers and torpedo tubes. The robot completes cleaning tasks quickly and requires fewer personnel for maintenance and inspection. Defense officials have said that a proposal has been received by the Defense Ministry for building the second indigenous aircraft carrier at Cochin Shipyard Limited. The Defense Ministry would shortly discuss the proposal moved by the Indian Navy that will be able to operate fighter jets, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles and unmanned combat air vehicles.